seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock. Good evening. And Dimi is over in Romania. I'm down here in South Africa, and we're both on the same timeline exactly seven o'clock. Good evening, everyone. Give us a quick note there in the chat room if you can hear us. I see Ant Anthony is already on the way to type there something. Hi, guys. Bob, good evening. Who else have we got in the room? And tell us where you guys are from. Oh, okay. Good evening, Marcus. Uh, Paul, Enrique, good evening from Mexico. Hola, hola, hola. <laughs> and Jelly, Odor, Kari, yay, guys. Good, good, good. It's, it's good to see you here. Germany, Amsterdam, Guyanant, everyone. Very, very good to see our, you guys. Uh, our US family celebrate Thanksgiving, so uh, happy Thanksgiving, guys. But I guess you're you're celebrating. You're not here, but maybe you'll see this in the recording. So. Happy Thanksgiving, yes, yeah. Don, everyone. You guys, Canadians and Americans, uh, all our, we are very grateful for Thanksgiving because of Thanksgiving, we get to have Black Friday. Mike, <laughs> good evening. Yeah. Olu, yes, um, Dylan, everyone, Slovakia, Slovakia, Peter, great. I'm very great to see you guys all here. Anthony, there you are. And um, yes, welcome. It's what it's the last webinar for November. I'm not sure if we'll have one in December. Maybe, maybe not. But I think it's quite a high possibility. And tonight we are going to look at Brizzy Cloud. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are very interested in Brizzy Cloud. And I think uh, let's let's go through our slides first before we start talking about that. What we are going to talk about tonight is we're going to show you the Brizzy Cloud dashboard. We'll create a page with the Brizzy Builder. And then we're going to show you everything that is in the free Brizzy cloud. And then after that, we're going to look at the pro version, which includes multiple pages, menus, et cetera, all of those things. And people, how we present this webinar is that we have these videos pre-recorded. So Dimi and I, we are in the chat room. It's your opportunity to ask questions. The only thing we kind of ask you is to try and stay on point. Don't ask us about WooCommerce tonight. And I'm pretty sure somebody is going to ask us about WooCommerce. But try and ask us about Brizzy Cloud. We have a lot of things that we will probably go through. There's a lot of questions. And Dini has been spending the last three weeks that feels like three years of his life answering questions on AppSumo. So any question that might exist about Brizzy Cloud, he has answered and he's got it ready for you. Tonight, we've set aside 90 minutes. The shows or the, the stuff that we're going to show you is pre-recorded. And that will allow us to interact with you guys in the chat room. And then at the very end, we're going to show you 10 landing pages that we've been working on for the new design update. And actually, all of that done within Brizzy Cloud. And that's one of the things I love, showing you guys what Brizzy can do. Many people, I cannot do this, I cannot do that. Yes. Finally, no tech support questions tonight in this webinar. Please do not ask us because actually, we cannot answer that for you. This is me, I'm JP, good evening, and I'm the guy who brings you most of the videos at Brizzy, and that I'm very proud to show you how both the WordPress plugin and the cloud plugin works. And a little bit about me, I'm a very early riser. Since I was a young kid, I confused everyone that I wake up early in the mornings, and at nighttime when everybody wants to have a party, I'm the guy who tells you, I'm gonna go to sleep now, see you tomorrow morning. Dimi, time for you to say something. So you're a party breaker, right? When people are partying, I, I'm you're a party pooper, totally. <laughs> uh, hi, guys. I'm Dimi. Most of you know me. I'm uh, one of the co-founders here at Breezy. Uh, we usually like to share some personal stuff from our day-to-day -day life. So I, uh, I'm a proud father of two kids, and uh, I have a beautiful wife. In fact, I'm actually at home right now because I didn't uh, have time. Was stuck in tra traffic, and I didn't have time to to arrive at the office uh, this late. Um, I'm the, one of the designers here at Breezy, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm responsible of the UI and UX of Breezy, and among other other things. I wear different hats, uh, different a lot of hats actually here, and uh, I work in business in web business. Uh, I think since early 2000, I was uh, in uh, 18. I was I think when I when I started. So. Yeah, that's me in a couple of words, yeah. Right, guys, and just as I'm looking at the chat room, 
We always record this. The software that we are using currently is called Live Webinar. So it records it for us. We'll put it on our YouTube channel. And if you have joined this webinar, we will send you a link later to remind you of that as well. And previous webinars, they are all on YouTube. So I think for you guys who are new to Brizzy, we will send you a link to the YouTube as well. Make sure that you go and check it. We've got a lot of webinars there as well, and we are rolling out many more in the future. Then just good evening to India, Oregon. I've seen Montreal there as well, and uh, Zimbabwe, welcome. So we are very happy to see all of you here joining around the world. It really, guys, it's it's really great to see this kind of support. It It, it makes us motivated and this is the kind of thing that we really like to see this kind of community support that we have here so where are we the cloud workshop that's what we are working on tonight let me just before we go no that's at the very very end that we are going to do so how it's going to work tonight guys is that we've got three videos two longer ones one is going to feature on all the free features within Brizzy Cloud. The second one is going to look at Brizzy Cloud Pro. And then at the very end, we're going to show you those landing pages. If for whatever reason, you do find that your video doesn't have any audio, go to the bottom left-hand corner of your screen when we play the video and there will be a mute or an audio button. Just make sure that you select that. That is a feature of live webinar. We checked it with the guys at Live Webinar, and they told us it's a default setting that comes within anything that runs on Chrome. So we will look at our side how to do that. But if you find out that you do not have audio, make sure you go to the bottom left-hand corner of the screen where you will normally see the audio button, if you like if you were on YouTube. And then also, if you find that you cannot see us, remember also to go and just refresh F5, you know, F5, go for that. So let's have a look and then please hit us with your questions in the the bar below. We start over here at Brizzy.cloud and this is probably where you're going to log in or if you haven't ever tried Brizzy Cloud, this is where you go firstly, Brizzy.cloud. Here in the top right hand corner is account login. I have already logged in, so by clicking on it, I will automatically go into my dashboard. If you have not ever used it before, it will give you a dashboard as well. And from there you sign up. It cannot be easier, really. It is very simple sign up process. And we are going to be working only now in this part with the free version. We look at everything that you can do within free, and that will give you a really good understanding of how Brizzy Cloud works. And after that, the next video, we will look into Brizzy Cloud Pro for multi-pages and a few extra things. What you see here on my dashboard is that there are already what we call a project, two projects. In Brizzy Cloud Free, you can only make single pages. So if this is a website, it's a single page. Same for this one. You cannot create many pages like about contact services products you can create only one page. And that is the, you can say the default vision of Brizzy Cloud is a landing page. And the landing page is a one pager. So I have one page here and I have one here. And you can see it's called a project. So don't let this confuse you. A project is a page, is a landing page. In Brizzy Free, that's what you can do. We will look at this dashboard soon, but let's see how simple it is to go from logging in to creating that first page. Click here on create new project and it will give you the option or rather it will create a new project with you and it will say project number three. Highlight it. There you go and you call this, okay, I'm going to call this webinar demo. And just by clicking outside it, it already saves that. There's a lot of things over here. You can see there's a lot of areas here that you want to click. You want to see what does this do? What does that do? And what does this do? But let's go first into the builder and see how you're going to build this page and how the Brizzy Cloud Builder is the same and differs from our normal one for WordPress. To go and create your page, you edit it. So it's your project. You're going to edit the project. Click on that. It takes you into the Brizzy Builder. I'm going to take a guess for the free version, 99.9%. .9 is the same as you would get in the WordPress Builder. 
So we're not going to go into how to create your first block, how to bring in this, how to do that. But let's, well, at least bring in one block just to show you what you see here. Everything looks very familiar. And that is the goal, is to bring these two products so close to each other in any way we can. So let's grab a hero image. And remember, I'm in the free version. So you again will see the pro ones over here and you won't be able to use them. And then if I grab the free one over here, I click on this block, it will bring it in. So far, everything is the same. Let's have a look quickly then here on our elements. You will see all the normal elements over here. What will be missing are those WordPress elements. For example, if you are using sidebar or the WordPress menu or WooCommerce, those will not appear here. And this is the number one thing you have to get in your head at this moment that Brizzy Cloud has absolutely no connection with WordPress. WordPress is one platform. This is another platform. The only thing that's constant between these two is Brizzy. So we've got our normal elements. Same thing. You can edit up here, choose which ones you want to see, which ones you don't want to see. All of those features that we normally have over here to reorder your blocks and then your normal styling options that you have over here. Everything is the same. Even here, you go to desktop, tablet and mobile. So what are the differences? The number one difference at this moment in terms of building what we are working with here on the page is how you get your images on here. The current way to do that is you have to upload it directly from your computer. So if I want to change this background, I go to my block background and then there is no library at this moment for you to bring in any images. You have to upload it via your Explorer or your Finder. So if I want to bring in an image in this case, where is this one? Okay. And then it is uploaded. So you don't have a centralized media library, which you can use, but the rest, all of this is exactly the same. So this is one thing that you have to understand. And of course, this is not how it's going to be forever. There's a lot of talk on how we can improve this media library. And this is something that we will still build out a lot. But at this moment, remember, Images are uploaded this way. I think it's a stunning image. Really, really good image. Right. Then saving it. Uh, because I haven't published this yet, it would be the same if you were using the WordPress plugin. Your first instance here in the bottom right hand corner, it will be published. And if I click on it now, publish, then after this, it will say update. You have the same here preview. I click on preview. It takes us to the front end and you can see how it will look when the visitor comes to your site, right? There's it. What I want you to note while we are here is your URL, HTTPS, right? And this is a big question. You get your SSL, SSL, right? SLL, SSL. And by default, Brizzy in the free account is going to assign you this kind of uh, Brizzy.site URL and then some random fruit at the beginning. In this case, it's lemon with a number 450658. But you can change that. We'll look into that very soon. Let's go back and stick with the builder for a while. Let me just close this one in the builder. So within the builder, remember that's your biggest difference that you're going to experience from what you are used to in WordPress is that there isn't the media library function at this moment in Brizzy Cloud. You are going to upload those images directly onto your page. The other big difference is within the settings. On the left, settings, and you will see this pop-up appears, a splash screen with a few things in here. Site title, site description, and your favicon. Over here for your site title, this works, everything I show you here works exactly the same in Pro. So for your site title, we're going to say this is maybe fashion, fashion galore. And then over here, your site description is what is going to be appearing when you are found in your search results within any browser search engine. So I, I am not going to type anything interesting here. Luckily, I learned how to type quickly at school. And over here, it's the same thing for your favicon that you can in, enter your favicon. Then for social sharing, let me just see, it's still there. Social sharing, this is how it's going to display if you were to put it on Facebook or Twitter. So this will status message is basically your title, basically my title. And again, a description over here, 
not going to. And then here is your image thumbnail that you will be choosing for this one. Okay. So, and you will see it appears over here. When you share it on Facebook, ta -da, it will show this. Custom CSS for all your custom CSS CSSers. This is where your custom CSS goes. And then code injection, which we will talk a little bit more during this webinar. And for people who understand this, well, how this comes into play with Google Analytics, this is where you are going to be doing this. Everything you see here for free. What do you not see here? You don't see a menu. Right, you see, you cannot create a menu here in terms of menu with pages, but that's not entirely true, right? Because if you were to have more than one block in here, let's add a few blocks. And, and, and um, let me. Okay, I don't even know. Grab. If you were to add a few blocks here, and you want it to be able to scroll to those blocks, so you want to have a navigation up here on the single page. You can create it yourself. You don't need that menu element. So what you will do differently uh, or definitely bring in your columns up here. And I'm just going to quickly, let's do that. I'm getting sidetracked. And then we bring in a text and let's call this one last block just to show you the last block. And then let's make it something that we can see better. Right, so if I want this one to be scrollable, wait, can't see. Okay, right, so if I want people to be able to click on this one and scroll all the way to this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here. Let's do it on the column rather. And then I go to my link and then over here block. And I go down all the way to the bottom block and click on that. Update it so I can show you in the front how the scrolling will work. And then we go to the front end. And here we go. Click on it, right? So it's not that you cannot do this. You can definitely do this in free. You're going to do it manually. But I mean, this is actually a stunning effect that I have here. If you want to add those other blocks in here, you can each of those blocks. So if, if you are confused about what I just did, this is anchoring within Brizzy. The first thing is that anything can basically be linked. If you click on this element over here and you see the link, you click on the link, you can link it to a URL, which you are used to, but you can link it to any of the blocks here. And you see those thumbnails have been generated and then you can link it to them, right? Awesome, awesome. Okay, so uh, let's just go quickly back to the settings. We had, let me see if we had covered everything here. Okay, and I lost all my settings because I didn't save it, but I wanna do that. And I'm just going to type in some stuff here because I want you guys to believe in me because it could be that I'm telling you, oh, yeah, yeah, it will save. And then when you try it tonight, it didn't save. All right, so let's do that. Save changes. Who sang believe in me? I think it's Kenny Rogers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's exit and let's go back to settings. Oh, no. Okay, so what I've run into here is that you need to save each page by itself. Uh-huh. Save, let's try it again. Save to, save to, save three, and then here. Okay, so before you go to the next screen, very important, save your changes, right? Even though I had gone to social sharing, this had been saved. Now this would be saved. Let's do it again. This is good, you see? We keep testing and testing and testing, and we make sure that we understand how it works and what we need to do. There we go, everything's saved. So each of these panels, when you click on them and you go into the screen, you make any changes to it, make sure you save before you go to the next one. And this is something that I'm pretty sure that will still be a little bit worked on. All of this, there's still a lot happening. Okay, good, so here we go. Everything else in terms of this builder works exactly the same. No need to spend more time on that. If you want to know how to build out the page, all of that, just go check out the videos on the rest of YouTube. Let's go back to our dashboard. And to do that, same thing like you would have done in WordPress. In the bottom left-hand corner, go to the hamburger menu and ta-da, go to dashboard. And I didn't save. 
why I didn't save it. Let's go update. Thanks for reminding me. Let's do that again. Go to dashboard. And we are back in our dashboard. Now let's look at what's going on over here. Webinar demo. And the first thing you can do is if you want to preview it on the front end from the dashboard over here, that's the same icon that we have in the builder. Click on that. It takes you again to your project. And it should load that lemon45065 at brizzy.site. There we go. Click on the link. Everything works perfectly. And you can see up here, save to. Oh, look at this. I changed the name of the site up here, save to plus home. Plus there is my favicon. I feel so peaceful when I see the tea leaves up in the browser. Good. Let's close this out and back in our dashboard. A few things here, a few things here that we're going to talk about. And the first one is what you can do to change your URL. Now, in the free version, you're right. Um, you may think, okay, it's free. I can live with that. Oh, wait, let me close it. I'll show you what I did. I clicked here. Okay, click again. You're right. So you will say, okay, I understand it's free. Nothing I can do about it. But you'll be wrong. You'll be surprisingly wrong. You can bring in your own domain. So if you have a domain like beautifulkittiesandlizards.com, you can bring in beautifulkittiesandlizards.com under custom domain. How you're going to do that is click here on choose and you're going to add in here beautifulkittiesandlizards.com and then you're going to submit it. But that will not be the end. And we'll give you the link if you want to do that, if you have your domain. There's a few things that you will need to go and do in your domain provider, have to set, set up the C name, all right? It sounds very complicated, but it isn't. And we'll do a video to show you in the coming week how you can do that. Of course, it's going to differ a little bit from one provider to the next, but in, in the end of the day, it's the same. So that is if you have a name like beautifulkittiesandlizards.com. But let's say you don't and you don't want to go spend that money. It's just a once-off website. For example, you are doing a promotion. You just want to have this landing page. You're going to use it for a short time and not again after that. What are you going to do? That is subdomain. Choose here. Brizzy.site is going to remain. That's it. Brizzy gives this to you for free. So stop complaining. But what you can do is you can change this one over here. So I can call this webinar demo. And then I'm submitting it. And Brizzy is going to check. Did anyone take it? Not yet. And now it's going to change my URL to webinardemo.brizzy.site. And this is the one. And you can just right click and say copy link. This is the link that you are going to be sharing with all your awesome friends. So let me right click and say copy link. Open another browser where I'm not logged in. Paste that one, webinardemo.brizzy.site, and there we go. It is perfect, my friends. Perfect. Okay, so what else can we do here? Again, if you want to go and edit your project, you're going to do this over here. And there's a reason I'm going to go back into the project because I want to go and add a contact form. So let's go into our page, and then we say add a new block. Uh, contact over here and I just grab this one I think this is the one and then update all right so let's exit back to the dashboard and now I'm going to open again my other browser let's paste that link again and let's go have a look at that contact form and this is in the free version note in the free version so drop us a line. I'm going to call myself Joseph McFarren. And my email address is mcfarren.j at beautifullandscapes. Landscapes is spelled wrong. But Joseph could never spell in his entire life. So that's fine. And then here is my message. So I've not set up anything. You didn't see me set up anything for this form. I just dragged in that form. I'm putting in the information. And now Joseph McFarren sends this message to me. And then I have your email was sent successfully. Right. So what now? Did that go into the machine? Gone forever? Ghost in the shell? Okay. So let's go see what happened to that one. And we're going to call it lead. Right. So we got an email address. 
that's our lead. And the reason we are using these terminology is because of the set of Brizzy Cloud for funneling and conversion. So we are using these sales terms like follow the or, or follow up on a lead. Where is that now? If you go here to this project, you go up here to the three dots and you click on it. The first one at the top is leads. And if you click on that, we're going to have that message from Joseph McFerrin. McFerrin, my boy, it's good to hear from you. So here is Joseph McFerrin and here is his message. And this is where you are going to be collecting all these messages, all these leads. And you may think this is OK. So what do I do? I have to go and copy this now and then I can put it into my mailer. If you are using the pro version, you're going to have integration. This is the free version. But here's what you can do. Notice in the bottom left hand corner the option to export to XLSX or CSV. That's the thing. If you want to make a list with it in your Excel, then you're just going to go here. You select those. You can add a few more and you can say export. So remember, this is where your leads, your messages will be going. What else do we have over here? We have analytics, which will give you more. And this is coming in the future. And then you have publish the same option that we have over here. If you click on this one and if you click on that one, publish, you have this. So let's quickly talk about these two. If these apply to you, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And if they don't, you will just never have to worry about it. Server sync is if you've got your own server and you're running it, you can set up server sync here and it can sync between the two. Question is, do you have your own server at home from which you are hosting it? Yes or no? No, then don't care about it. Yes, you are very highly qualified and you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you want more information, contact the Brizzy team. Export HTML. Don't let this one confuse you. What this can be done is you can you can create a page within Brizzy and then you can export it into HTML and then you can upload it as a static page. Now, what do we mean by static page? It's basically like a printed page. You cannot make changes to it. So if you have another website, you want to design it here in Brizzy and you export it as HTML and you upload it to that one, then you can show it on that site exactly like how it will look in Brizzy, but, 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 but you cannot make edits to that. If you want to make edits, you'll have to come back into Brizzy Cloud, make the edits here and export it again. But this is a feature that you can use. So these are the other two options that you have over here. And all of this, all of this, you see free, free, free. They are here. You can see them. They're all there for free. And that is what you will get. Same here for publish. OK, there. And also, if you click on this URL over here, you get publish. OK, let me just click again. The other thing is subdomain. Let's go back to that. Choose on it. Webinar demo. This is the one we gave it. Let's say you want to change the name later. So what you do, you should just come in here. Let's call it Webinar Demo 2. Submit. It's going to check if this has been taken. Nope. Then now it's, let's see where it is, Webinar Demo 2.brezzy.site. So we've gone through all of this. The last one we haven't gone through is, ooh, what did I do? I clicked into Editor. I guess so. I probably clicked on Edit It. The last one over here, Delete. And that is the one when you're done with everything. Are we going to go and delete our site? If not, why not? Click on delete. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And webinar demo goes forever into the void and it's done. Let's look at the rest of the interface over here. Here is your normal profile. Okay. And then over here, team members. Now, this is the great thing again, free. If you want to work with a client or you have somebody who's co-working with you, over here, you can assign more team members to your project. So I go to team members. This is me. And then over here, I can add email addresses and invite people and assign these roles to them. Then you have more people and they can access these projects as well. Excellent, awesome, amazing feature. Then you see over here my personal projects. And if you click on it, you will see my personal projects. I've got two, Iga, Lianga, two projects. And then it says create new account upgrade. This is a pro feature. And let's talk about that when we get to pro. All you need to know is that you can create many single landing pages in Brizzy free for free. That's why it's called for free. And all of them will appear on this dashboard here. They work just like the page builder in Brizzy. Only thing you have to remember, they will be one pagers. You cannot have multiple pages. You can assign over here, 
You can assign subdomains with the .brizzy.site extension. You can bring in your own custom domain. You can even sync it to your own server. Or if you just want to create it in Brizzy and then put it on a different site somewhere else, host it with another kind of theme or builder, Export HTML can do all of that for you. You can invite people to collaborate with you on team members. And that is everything you get for free. It's a great feature. Hope this helps you to understand what Brizzy Free Cloud is all about. Right, and the last question I just saw was about affiliate program. Mike, Mike, there's an affiliate program going on since last year. Please go over to, to brizzy.io and check out affiliate. Just scroll down all the way to the bottom and you will see the affiliate program there. Right, so before I let uh, throw all the difficult questions to Dimi, that's why he gets the big bucks. I'm going to say a few things. Yes, we know we, we are testing platforms, so we know if you guys have any issues with live webinar, we, we will keep that into consideration and see what we can do about that. Some things that we are aware about, for example, the leads, there was a question. Can we send currently, anyone who fills in a form, can we send it to someone else's email? It's in the works. Currently, the leads are going to generate within the Brizzy Cloud dashboard. That's the only place you currently can access it. When we get to the next video in Pro, where we will be looking at the integrations with MailChimp and all the other mailer integrations, then of course you can collect them from that mailer. But currently for sending, uh, designating a specific email, that is in the pipeline. And then just one question, uh, there was, Dimi just mentioned about feedback. And I can, I can tell you guys, honestly, I think just this morning or yesterday, I was, uh, this morning, I was discussing with Dimi and I said to him, hey, what about this? And then he was gone for 30 minutes and he came back to me and says, well, we are discussing how to do this if it's possible. So, guys, your feedback really matters. Sometimes it's going to take some time and you will hear Dimi often talk about the Brizzy way. And that's a very important concept within Brizzy is that there are many nice ideas out there, but often those ideas can cloud things. It can make it very murky. But we appreciate the feedback and a lot has changed for Brizzy because of feedback. So please give us that. Give us constructive feedback. Let us know what can work, especially with Brizzy Cloud that is looking at funneling and conversions. This is the way we are driving it. Right, Dimitri, do you have anything? Otherwise, I've got a yeah, I, I want, to you. Yeah, sure. I wanted to, to mention that we have, a, a, I'm not sure that you all are familiar that we have a Brizzy Cloud Roadmap. And uh, we have a bunch of suggestions there and uh, different lanes. Uh, you can uh, go check it out. Uh, it's on Trello, so uh, we can share the link in the chat. But if you, if any, anyone watches the recording, get, you can search it on Google. Just uh, type uh, Breezy Cloud Roadmap and you'll, you'll get there. Uh, you, get, you can get some insight on uh, what we are currently working on. And uh, it's, it's open to the public, so you can add uh, you, you can uh, you can comment on the cards and add your feedback so it, it really helps us to 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 better understand because you know we are using a lot of tools but uh, sometimes you need that uh, you, you know you need the the, the, the pro some of our users are professionals if they uh, they know a tool they want integrated in breezy cloud they really know it right so they really know how what what they need there so uh, it really helps any any bit of feedback helps so yeah right so tell us quickly about ssl you explained this to me uh, uh, for newcomers do we yeah, have ssl sure. for breezy cloud yeah yeah we have all the all the uh, we offer uh, actually we install uh, for free in the, in the subdomain accounts, uh, uh, free uh, certificates, and also in the custom domain. So basically, you are uh, you you'll you'll be secure here. You'll be you'll have uh, you'll have that badge there, and you'll have a secure connection. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to purchase a, a, a security certificate yourself. Uh, we'll do it for you. It's free. It's included. Uh, so. You don't have to do anything, basically. We'll, the only thing that I'll mention here, because this happened a couple of times, is that uh, it takes a, it takes a bit of time to for the uh, for the certificate to to actually install. 
on on that specific uh, domain if you link your your domain so have some patience uh, all you need to to be, you have a secure site is patience it can take up to a couple of hours maybe 24 hours but uh, it will be there eventually yeah Right. So next question, we talked about this, the images. Currently, images up, are uploading. Where are they going and what is the future for the images in terms of Brizzy Cloud? Yeah, we have, uh, you know, uh, on the on the WordPress part, because uh, I'm sure you guys know that we also develop a plugin, a WordPress plugin. Uh, it's it's easy to, you know, you use <laughs> you use the media library from WordPress or, but here we uh, we don't have that. So basically, we everything we want to build, we, we start from scratch. So uh, that is on the list as well. We we'll have a media library in the in the future, uh, but right now uh, you'll uh, you'll basically have to to upload your your images uh, again. But we'll have we'll uh -huh. have. A, a media library that will incorporate more than images. It will incorporate videos and uh, all the fi files, right? Assets that you can uh, use on the page. Right. Uh, duplicating pages, one I've seen you've been asked about on AppSumo as well as Facebook, and the question arrived here a few times tonight. Mm -hmm. Any chance of duplicating pages in the future? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, this is actually... Uh, uh, Kind of around the corner, uh, I have. Uh, there are there are a couple of things that uh, that uh, the team is focusing on, but I know that uh, this is one uh, on the list. Uh, duplicating pages, uh, duplicating projects, uh, moving projects from uh, from one sub account to another sub account. Right? If you if you are creating client websites or client landing pages, most likely you'll uh, on your next client you'll uh, want to show him a couple of examples. From what you've already made, and you'll just duplicate that and move it to into his uh, sub account. So it, that will uh, will facilitate uh, an easy an easy um, w working with clients very easily. Um, renaming sub accounts, deleting sub accounts, and the changing roles uh, in the team uh, team members. Uh, when you invite them, you assign them roles. And right now you can't change them. Uh, you need to delete them and assign them again, but uh, you'll be able to change roles uh, pretty soon. Dimitri, let's look at a few questions that we had talked you and I about earlier this morning yeah, and sure. questions that we have seen people had asked us. And I know one of the questions that we've had a few discussions on the Facebook community is how is the workload at this moment divided between the WordPress plugin for Brizzy and the cloud? Um, is one making the other one's progress slower? What is the vision between these two plugins at this moment? Let me let me explain how, how uh, first of all, how this, uh, how the development works and how it's separated on teams. And then uh, I've explained this a lot in the past uh, or at least a couple of times, but I'll do it again here for everyone to, to get a reminder. Um, the builder is the same, right? So we have we have exactly the same. It it would be actually madness to to manage two two separate builders that are almost the same. The builder is exactly the same. So we have a builder team that develops the builder, the actual builder. If you I don't know drag and drops and uh, elements and things like that, right? We have a, a a WordPress team that develops the part that links. Uh, the builder with the uh, with with WordPress and take take care of that that connection and that and we have a cloud uh, a cloud team that uh, handles all the you know what you see on the on the cloud side like the dashboard the connections the domains the, uh, all all those uh, the, the leads things like that that are not related to WordPress so basically we we are developing everything together right and and more on this uh, once we develop that uh, that connection between the wordpress and the cloud or between cloud and wordpress where, uh, where you'll be able to basically save blocks and layouts uh, from one and move it to the other from that point on we will not be able to have different builders right uh, uh, different uh, not builders but updates you see how how it is right now, GP. Uh, we are waiting for a form. We have put the pop-ups, the triggers in WordPress, but uh, the triggers are not in the cloud yet, and things like that. From that point on, when we'll have the import-export over the cloud, 
from that point on, every update will be at the same time on both because you need to have the exact same uh, options and settings and uh, elements and all of the builder needs to be exactly the same in order to to move things around from uh, from WordPress to cloud and of course not have uh, not not encounter issues. So to wrap it up, don't uh, worry about uh, you know if you're a WordPress user or if you're a cloud user, you might think that oh my God they are uh, bringing a WordPress uh, update or a cloud update and uh, you might feel that we're not uh, we're favoring one over the other. But this is not the case, <laughs> not by by a long shot. We are developing everything with the same vision and uh, at the same time. So yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to answer this one. I'm just curious. STN, STN. Yes, SSL is available for you. You don't need to do anything, right? Uh, this is what we have just mentioned to you. Then Dimi Mike had asked a very good question in terms of the uploads of the images. Is there a file size limit? Is it going to uh, at one point tell you too many images? There is a file size uh, limit, but I'm, uh, I'm I'm sorry, I I don't want to to mess this up and uh, just throw a number in there. But uh, we'll uh, I'll I'll get back to to you on that, Mike. I'm sorry, it's it's uh, it doesn't come to mind right now the the number. Let me see. In the meantime, I'll try to I'll try to to ask our colleagues if someone is online and and right, uh, Mike. If you are I, I, having yeah. your holiday, if you are having your holiday. Go and upload a few photos tonight and see how much you can upload. It. <laughs> no. Yeah, let, right. let me just, I, I'll okay. try to find the answer by the, by the end of the webinar, right, Mike? Uh, ho, ho, hold tight. Right. Okay, guys. And then the last question is going to connect us to our next video, and that is about pop-ups. If you are using Brizzy free, you're not going to see pop-ups. It's not a Brizzy free feature, right? So there are certain features that are pro and they will remain pro because, hey, <laughs> at the end of the day, we're selling a product, right? So for the next video and, and all the feedback that we've seen, that we've heard, some of you cannot see the audio. I remind you again, if you arrive GP, late. Uh, one, one sec, please. Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, I, I just want to... Yeah, I just want to mention now uh, here because you said uh, this difference about the free and pro. Uh, it's important to understand for everyone that's, that is watching this. We are the only builder and the only business like this in the world right now. You don't get custom uh, domain linked for free anywhere. You don't, uh, you don't get unlimited pages for free. And you don't get all the functionality that we, gi we give for free anywhere in the world. So I just wanted to 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 right. yeah to to, to put in, a point on fact, this. So in fact, Dimi, the first time I worked on Brizzy Cloud, I, I contacted this is all free. And I kept going back and forth with Dimi like, is this all free? Because it didn't make any sense to me. You know, guys, when you work with WordPress, you still need to get hosting even if you're using a free plugin. But Brizzy Cloud free is, it's totally free. There's nothing like that on the market. So true. All right. So shall we go to the next video, Dimi? Yeah, sure. Go on. Okay, yeah, right, uh, right. We're going to yeah. go ahead. No, it's okay. I, I just wanted to say that uh, uh, people still need to have a night, right? Maybe Thanksgiving and things like that. Let's, uh, let's, move, let's move it on because we'll, we'll drag it all night. If... Right. Please drop your questions in the chat room for us. We're going to see how much we can answer for you. If you cannot hear the audio, but you can see the video, please look in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. There's a little audio and put it, unmute it. This is just one of those features that we have come aware of live webinar. And if that doesn't work, go ahead and refresh your page. And don't worry, this webinar is recorded. It will be available on YouTube. Let's Go ahead. This time watch. I am in Brizzy Cloud Pro. And how do I know I'm in Pro? It looks exactly like free. Well, if you sign up for a Pro account, it's going to be Pro. But there's a few other telltale signs in the dashboard that you are in Pro. Actually, there's only one. And that's over here in my personal projects. Remember, you could only create one. This time you can create more than one. You can create what we call a sub account. So for example, if I'm working with a specific client, each of these will have their own team members. So if I'm working with client X and I want to invite some of their people to collaborate with me on the page, I will create the new account 
like here, let's go to this sub account that I've created over here, and then I can assign, and you see, I have no project created yet in sub account. So if I create a sub account here now, or a project in the sub account, and we call this uh, Team X, okay, and publish it, and let's go and choose a domain for it, and we pomegranate Team X, submit, and done. Okay, and it will not show there yet because we have to first go in to edit the project. Right, so what I've got now is I can go and assign team members over here to this entire account, okay, which I called sub account. I just called it sub account. You can call it team X and then everything here will only relate to them. And if you work with another customer, you can create a different account for them. Just know that at this moment, this question we've got a lot, you cannot delete these yet, but that's in the pipeline, going to make it able for you to manage your projects. Right, that is the number one difference when you go into Pro. This is where there's going to be a big difference is that you can manage these accounts from the dashboard. The rest are the same. All the features that you have up here, leads, analytics, publish, delete, and I click again on something. I probably clicked on edit again. Let me see. Yes, it says editor. So we're going into the editor. All of that is the same. Good thing we're in the editor. Let's make lemonade with the lemons that I don't even have. Let's build quickly a few blocks here and you see the pro feature has been removed because we are now in Brizzy Pro, so we can make use of all the nice and fancy blocks that we have over here. Let's bring in Mr. Handsome and then features. Okay. What? Let's bring in a team and let's put that on dark. Team, 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 team. Uh, is this team? No, it's not. What? All categories. I just want to say that doesn't look like a team here. These guys, they look like the team I want to go to war with. Absolutely. Absolutely, they go. <laughs> okay, nonsense. I'm talking. Uh, let's put in a testimonial and then let's put in our good friend Mr. Contact Form at the bottom. Okay, sign up, put up a sign up form there. Okay, so this is again the same thing. I publish it, you can view it on the front end, the whole thing. What is important though, that because we're in Brizzy Pro now, if you go over here to our our form element and you click on the button, you go here to the little plugin, you have your apps and your recapture. And if you are totally stunned, re, 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 really recapture, we already have form two elements here within Brizzy Cloud Pro. There you go. So now let's look at the differences from the Pro to the others and that is to the free that is if you go to settings you're going to see a horse of a different color here you're going to see that we have pages and at the top here we also have menus so let's quickly focus first on pages and under pages here at the bottom you will see add new page so let's go and play around with this and add a new page I clicked on it it's going to add a new page for me here of course I don't want it to be called new page 2 but let's add a few more just to see what happens new page 2 Oh, that's so original, new page three. And I guess you get to see new page four and new page five. And again, this is not what we want to do. But let's have a look then. If you look here at home, it says currently editing. So that is telling you that this is the page in the background that you're currently working on. Edit page, settings and delete. Let's click on settings for page two. And here you get to everything that your heart ever desired to do. Page title, we're going to call this services. And the permalink we're going to make is services. And then for your description, SEO meta, you're going to add some beautiful stuff there. Remember to save the work. So let's do the same for the other three pages. Okay, you see it's updated to services, settings. We're going to call this about us. And then save then. Uh, next one. Let's go to settings. And this one we will call products, which is the same as services, but I just need a few pages here. Save. And then our last page. As you know, we're going to call that contact us. Contact. Okay. Good. 
So this is how you've set up all your pages now. And then let's say you, we worked on home. That's what we did. Now you want to go and set up your contact page. Then you click here on edit page and that will load your contact page now. So you can go ahead and build that out. And let's just bring in a contact form there. Is a contact form something one, right? So we have our contact form here updated so we can save it. Now let's go back to our home page, go to settings and then pages. And then you click again on edit page. And this is how you're going to be navigating between these pages as you make edits through them. It's actually quite quick. I was looking at how quickly you can go between this and in terms of having to work with that within, you know, WordPress. And I think, wow, how intuitive, very, very, very quick. Right. So next thing we want to do is we want to bring in a header. And this is one of the things, number one, in pro, if you go to elements, you're going to see here, we have the pro elements as well as we've got a menu element over here. These are pro features as well as the social features over here. So you can build out your own menu from scratch. You And you can place this menu anywhere. You can create more than one menu. You can place it anywhere on your site. So let's say I wanted to just add the menu up here above his head and it will say create menu if I click on it because I haven't created the menu yet it will take me into my settings and says create or select the menu here I have menu name but you have to create your first one so I'm going to say create new menu I call it my first menu because it's a special day my first menu why is it special it's your first menu and then you can make more but make sure you select it over here my first menu no menu items and where do we find these menu items over here peter so click here and then we're going to say add to menu and i think you're feeling very familiar with this right this is what you are used to home is set to home by default unless it's something else and then you have services about products and i wonder okay so settings over here let's say i want this to be my home page services then you can see here i can over here set it as a home page now this is the home page i can also open it in a new tab if that is what i want to do but let's go back to home and let's set home to our home page good let's save our changes so we have created our menu now did i save that loan loading loading okay close here back on our page it says create menu let me click here and and people this is one that many people get confused if you click here no, you have to go here to your container, click on the hamburger and then select the menu. And if you see this happening, all you need to do is refresh. We are aware of this. Okay, wait, let me update it just first and then refresh the page. Okay. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> okay. Ah, and there it loads it by default because that's the only one you've got. But now you will see here, if you click on it, it appears over here. Make it a hamburger spacing, all the normal things that you can dream of, that you can do for that with your hover options over here. All right, hello, contact us, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so you've created all of this. Let's go view it on the front end and see if it can actually do a good job at navigating. I set my standards so high for myself, right? Okay, so up here, okay, I didn't save it. Let's go save it first because I want that white lettering so we can have a bit more contrast and mostly because I want to show you it's not a glitch. Right, Brizzy.cloud projects. There we go. So if I click now and contact us, it should take us to our contact us page. And then you're going to see here we are on our contact us page and where's my menu? Okay, so you have to remember, you need to place that menu on each and every page. This is currently how it's still set up. We don't have that that conditional blocks yet, right? But this is, we all know, a big feature and it's, it's, it's almost there, right? So let's close this and let's talk about how you're going to be doing this. This is how we did it by ourselves. But what you can also do is go to your header within your kits over here, your header, and you can bring in these pre-made headers. Now, what is very important, very, very important about these headers is that it's not just a pre-made header. It actually has some other features that you may not be aware of. So let's click on this one to begin with. 
and I'm going to leave it here. So here we have the menu. The menu is there. We understand that very well. Here is a logo and you can build anything. But what is important is if you go to where? The block, right? It's the block here. This is the header block that we brought in. You will see there is a menu function in this header block that is different. You can make the header sticky, fixed or static, and you can also make it global. This is where it becomes important because once you say make it global, okay, right? So you see that little earth globe appears over there. And then we go to our reorder blocks. Let me just drag this one up and let's remove this header because we don't need it. Okay, let's save our page, update. And now let's go to our contact us page. So the settings, 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 and then pages, contact us, and we want to edit it. Click here again on that edit. Mm -hmm. Okay, but there is no header. You still have to bring it in. What you do now, you go to add a new block and you go to global blocks. You see here that header that we had selected to make it global appears over here. Now I can go again to reorder blocks. Let's drag it to the top and let's update and go test this. So it's a few extra steps. It's not going to apply to every page. It doesn't have that smartness yet, but you can do it and it can work 100% effectively. So if I click now on home, it's going to take us to Pretty Boy's page. Okay, there's Pretty Boy, and if I go to contact, and then you do the same for the other pages, services, bundles, and products. Now, let's talk quickly about what will happen if you make a change to this header because it's a global header. Close this, and here I am in the Contact Us page. So I come up here, and I look here at this, and I want to change the logo. So I click here on Image, take out the logo, and I bring in my own logo. Let's see... Right, I bring in my logo and then for my image settings, put it on 100%. Okay, there is my logo and then I grab it here and I make it smaller and then I drag it like so. But what I want to do then here, okay, good. And then for these guys, let's change it a little bit. Go up here, we change the font. Let's make it Montserrat, bigger, put it thin. Oh, that's too light regular which is normal in this case right okay and we also put it a little bit let's make the whole container give it a background color that's where it would be like this okay so this is how we've changed our header very quickly and we did this on which page our contact us page let's update it and after updated and if you hear any snoring it's my cat okay it's not something wrong with my bodily fluids. I have one that is snoring away here next to me. Right, so we expected this. We made these changes to this header and it's on this page. But now, what about our homepage header? Great, so let's go to contact us, home. If in the event you are working and you sit and you make changes and you go from home to contact and it's still the old header, just do your hard refresh. That's all you need to do. It's not that there's a glitch. It's just too quick for the world of, to keep up. So remember that. And of course, what you can do here is you can click here on our little beautiful tea leaf and you can link it and you can link it to your homepage, right? So everything else you see pop-ups, they're all here. This is how it's going to work. This is the difference that you're going to find in Pro. You can assign more pages. You can assign your headers, header blocks, footers as well. To go to add a new block you've got footers exactly the same again click here let's add this one okay and then your footer options over here make it global same thing and then you just add it to each and every page and then it will appear on each and every page so let's do that make it global update update okay and the shortcut key you also have to remember for update is Control Command S. Okay, so now let's go to the front end. Let's do a refresh for this page. It's our Contact Us page. And then here at the bottom, we have our footer.
Right, so after everything is said and done, let's close this page and I'm going to exit. I think I covered everything on this side. If I forgot anything, we can discuss that now. Now, in the meantime, I just want to show you that since we've published it, this URL has updated to teamx.brizzy.site. And same thing like with the free, you can go and put in your custom domain. If you want to do that, you can create more projects. Your leads you're going to collect over here. If you, if you have used an uh, integration like MailChimp, you will also get the same information over here as well as in MailChimp. Just remember that it's going to work on both sides. And then when you are done working with this group of people, you can just go to your previous or another project that you are working on and you can continue from here. I like this kind of organization a lot. It's very clean. It's done correctly from the beginning. This is one of the biggest headaches that I have with membership plugins and, and, and other things that I often have to do. It's like the product started with an idea and the more it got, well, the more it advanced, the more things they tacked on and later on, it doesn't really make sense anymore. This is always the benefit of starting something from new is you can do it properly from the beginning and try and stick to that original idea as much as possible. The fact that I can group it into projects, people, this, this thing up here alone is a major thing. This is so nice. You know, we've talked about the landing pages. This is how the group and I, we are working with this. I can go and check what they are doing. They share with me and we share ideas with it. It's just pretty, pretty awesome if you are working in a group. And then if you are working on different projects with different people, having a, the ability to do this, absolutely stunning. Good. So I think in terms of the pro version, this is what we can talk about, what is currently here. And ta-da. Ta-da. Okay, right. Dimi, I already have got a few questions for you. We don't want the webinar to go over Thanksgiving into Black Friday. We've got money to spend on the internet. Interestingly enough, guys, the questions that came out predominantly in the chat room were all about icons. So let's quickly tackle the icon series, though it's not connected directly to Brizzy Cloud. And Anthony had a few questions about that. And personally, uh, I'll, I'll share with you guys my own feeling. I've never had a need for an icon integration because I download my icons from sites and I change them a little bit in Photoshop because that's what I do. I upload them as PNGs and I would love the SVG feature. And uh, Dini just answered that question to Anthony that SVG is on the roadmap. Um, and I know he said something about that, uh, th there's a little thing going on about icons. Let's quickly talk about icons. What's 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 on the roadmap for icons? Uh, Dimi, I cannot hear you. Check your microphone. How about now? Yes, now is good. Perfect. Go ahead. So, right. uh, as you may know, we have a. Right now, we have um, over 4,000, I think. Uh, there are 4,000 icons there on, uh, two different, uh, uh, on two different styles in glyph and uh, outline. Uh, I'm a designer, right? So uh, uh, I'm the first one to, to tell you that I want more styles and uh, different uh, illustration icons and things like that. And uh, we plan and will will have uh, in the future an icon library similar to 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 how we'll do it in um, imagine the blocks right when you add blocks something like that when you'll uh, when you load an icon you'll have a, a library there so you'll be able to choose from different styles uh, you'll be able to choose from different uh, and of course upload your own. So, uh, and we've discovered, uh, and I, I've already um, talked with uh, with uh, one of the co-founders from uh, from. I, I don't want to mention the name right now, but uh, uh, they are they are doing pretty amazing job, and they have like forty thousand icons or or something around that number on a huge number of uh, categories and illustrations, and it will be it will be a massive massive uh, update in in this icon department. Um, if you're a designer and you're using Breezy, these, these are the icons that you're using right now that we have there. Um, if you want more, you can upload more, on, uh, but not in, uh, uh, in a vector format, only in, uh, as an image. 
in the PNG and uh, JPEG. Uh, but uh, know that the Nikon library is coming, so we are working on something uh, on something very cool there. But as uh, usual, we have a lot on our plates, right? On 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 all those different fronts in cloud and WordPress and uh, develop on developing all the all the stuff so uh, it might take a while i i will not uh, dare to give any dates because uh, i know the uh, the not eventual I, yeah I can no, tell no. You guys not this year not this yeah, year not no this not year. not a chance yeah. no right let's uh one question i've seen a few guys ask now for me sitting here in africa and i mean all over the world we don't have this problem what is the situation about cookies and gpdr you know, in, in terms of we have, cloud. Yeah, we, we, we have that on uh, already on the roadmap. If you if you you go there, you'll see that uh, uh, is already added there, and we'll uh, we'll uh, yeah we'll basically we'll uh, create a way to let you control the uh, the cookies and uh, you we already have the pop up right now. So basically, you can create that. Uh, uh, that notification about terms and uh, cookies and uh, link your your user to to those parts of your website, but uh, uh, right now this is not linked with the actual cookies in the browser. Right, you you can't control uh, through through the pop up uh, that uh, that part of of the process. But that will be that will uh, will be on, of course. Right. Then. Um... I actually, while watching my own video, I have a question, and I hope I'm not putting you on the spot here. No, not at all, so please. I, I created five pages. Can I yeah. link among these pages? Can I, on my About Us page, link to my services page? And how will I do that? Yeah, sure. Is that possible you at this yeah, yeah, it's possible. You'll need to you'll need to basically uh, uh, go to a link, right, and just link right. it to. You'll just uh, you'll just type the the slug. If you type slash about, it will okay, go there. Okay, got. Yeah, right. So yeah. definitely, guys. Then in for the videos that we are putting out tomorrow and for the next week, that will give you full detail overview on Brazil Cloud. I will include that as well because I saw that question and when I saw the video, I also thought, how do I do that? So. You will have to go and set up your page name with the slug, and then, as Dim Dimitri just explained, you will have to do that. Right. So, yeah, on, on, uh, one sec, uh, GP, on the on the links front, because I, I want to touch uh, uh, touch on this uh, on the, on this links and menus. Um, right now, I, I, I most I, I I'm not sure if someone asked it already, but I I know for sure that I've uh, replied to this questions question a lot. So. Um, right now in the menu, uh, we have it on our list to, you, you, you only link, uh, basically when you add the menu element, the pages are already linked, right? You create the pages like we showed in the video and the pages are already linked, uh, uh, between them, but you can't actually set a, a link on the page, uh, on the, um, on the menu item. You can't, you can't right now set a link to go, uh, to go on, um, to scroll the page, right? To go to a block, or maybe link to an external. Uh, okay, right. Uh, so your yeah. your hash, your hash, your custom link, that kind of thing. You cannot do that yet. Right? Yeah, you cannot do that right now. But we have it on the list, and uh, it will be it will be added for sure. Yes. Jay, you are right. That's the anchor we are talking about. You yeah, can yeah, anchor yeah. within the same page. So if I'm on my about page and I anchor within that page, no problem. But you cannot anchor to another section on another page. But it's on the roadmap. No, no, uh, you can. You can. Uh, one, one sec, GP. Uh, you can oh, do no. that. All right. You, yeah. You, what, what I uh, maybe I wasn't. Uh, my my thoughts were not. Uh, very focused, but what I meant, okay. you you can't put a link on the menu, right? On the menu element, on the items okay, in the menu element. Okay, yeah, got because that. Got yeah, because the, the the menu element has the items already linked with the pages that you already created, right? But right. Uh, if you if you want to put a link on a page to another block in another page, it's pretty simple. You just you just slash um, uh, slug right. it, or yeah, or right. you yeah. or copy or copy the the link from the browser in the preview mode. And after that, you just put a slash, the uh, hashtag, uh, the name of the block, and it will, right. uh, it will, it will basically go to that, uh, yeah, to that uh, anchor. Okay, that one we've got, and Jay is happy with that. He also understands about the header for that. Um, how about drop-down menus? 
Well, yeah, it's uh, it's car. it's pretty basic. You can you you just uh, like in uh, uh, if you guys uh, work with WordPress as well, you know, you just drag the element a bit uh, to the left and it will go on the second level. It's the same here. So you basically just need to drag the element a bit and it will uh, it will go on uh, on the second level and uh, in the in the builder it will show like a, a drop down. And I'm smiling because that means for the videos I have to make for you on YouTube, I'm going to show you how to do that. <laughs> it's my job. Okay, right. Two things that, uh, and, uh, two things, and then we go to the last part for tonight. Form two and pop ups. And first of all, form two, version two is actually already in Brizzy Cloud. It's not yet in the WordPress one. So if you want to know what you can do with Form 2 in terms of radio buttons, in terms of all those other great features, go and play with it in Brizzy Cloud. That is not yet in the WordPress feature. What you need then, to do to play, to play with it is, is to drag it from the element sidebar. Right. Uh, yeah, because we were, we were kind of uh, not necessarily forced, but we were developing very fast and uh, when, we, when we came up, with uh, uh, when the app uh, Sumo deal started, uh, we made an update uh, a week before, and we needed the form, uh, uh, the form with the integrations there, and it would it would not make sense to have the form version one because we already developed uh, the form version two, right? So we've updated the form version uh, version two point zero in the cloud, but the blocks in the in the kit come with the element uh, form uh, 1.0. So basically what you need to do is to drag the element from the sidebar, that's it. Uh, but an, an update, uh, we are working actually on an update to, uh, for all the design uh, to, to, to put the, the new form there. So uh, once we, we launch the form uh, 2.0 in WordPress, I think uh, very shortly, and the guys are preparing the update, uh, we'll have uh, we'll push a design update with all the all the the forms updated, so we, we, it will be on par in uh, in all the. Yeah. Right, I think the last one then is the pop ups. So we talked about this last week when we talked about the pop ups, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the pop ups is the reverse of form two. The pop ups is fully yeah. implemented <laughs> in the WordPress plugin, but yeah, not yeah, yet in yeah. the cloud. Yeah, there are small, small parts that uh, that were uh, that were uh, were made. Uh, um, you know, I've explained this in the chat, but I'll say it again here. So for the recording to be there, uh, we on the on the WordPress side, we are using some parts that are built into the WordPress core. Right? We are using the main me media library. We are using the uh, the, the menus. You create the menus in the WordPress uh, admin. Uh, we are using those parts from WordPress. So some developments are, are, are um, facilitated a, a bit easier, right? On the pop-up side, as you know it, you go in the back end, you, you create those pop-ups. Uh, but in the cloud, we need that functionality developed from scratch for menus, for creating pages, for, for all that. So that's why sometimes uh, uh, on one side, things tend to, to, to especially on the cloud side, tend to, to, to take a bit, a bit longer. But we are nearly there and the, the triggers will, uh, uh, will come. An important thing to mention here is that the pop-up 2.0 is already in the cloud, right? You can create uh, if you, on click pop-ups. If you create on click pop-ups, you create uh, with uh, with uh, with the new element with the pop-up 2.0. But oh, the the dynamic part of this is is missing the triggers and the conditions and actually the most important part, right? <laughs> it's uh, yeah, that's why uh, you guys are asking. But uh, yeah, it's coming. Right, guys. So I want to give you a snapshot. This is where Brizzy Cloud is at this very moment and also our Brizzy WordPress. And actually, we are in November. And, you know, for many of us, December is a month that doesn't exist. You start December and the next thing you know, it is the next year. So I think, Dimitri, before we look at the, the forms or the layouts that we want to just showcase quickly, um, what can people expect for the rest of this year? Is there anything still coming out this year? Should people still be keeping their eye out for any big releases within 2019? And then um, I think let's start with that question. 
Yeah, uh, we are preparing uh, uh, a bunch of, of things for uh, for Breezy Cloud. Uh, uh, um, fixes, first of all, we are preparing the, uh, we'll, we'll also have, uh, I hope so and uh, think so and hope so that we'll have by the end of the year, you will be able to um, duplicate projects and uh, change uh, names in sub accounts and, and uh, things that will, will, will make your uh, life uh, a bit easier on the, on the cloud side in the dashboard. Uh, we'll also have, um, actually, we are designing right now and uh, we have around, I think, 16 or 17 layouts already made. And we want to push this, uh, uh, we'd like to push this design update by the end of the year. So expect uh, around 10 uh, layouts, uh, new layouts and fresh. You, uh, I actually will uh, we'll, uh, we'll show them, GP, right, the, uh, the layouts. Uh, that uh, we already have and will be there. Um, I think that's, that's about it. Uh, right. So for the future, I want to ask you these two questions because mm -hmm. I think this is the number one question probably on AppSumo at the moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Blogs and e-commerce. And um, at this moment, the answer is no, right? No blogs, yeah, no, no e commerce no. This is uh, we go back to the same uh, same thing, right? You 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 are using a CMS already developed like WordPress, Joomla, or other. You are using their their built-in core, uh, right? On the cloud, we'll we'll create this from scratch. Of course, all will will be made the breezy way. You'll uh, it will be top-notch and very carefully crafted to fit the entire the entire story we have uh, right now. Uh, but they're not there right now. We, they are very important to us. We we want to make the, uh, the to make this the functionality blogs uh, and uh, and shopping. But uh, uh, I think uh, a safe bet will be next year. Uh, next year, yeah, yeah. We'll. Uh, I think I'm not sure, but I think uh, uh, some guys from the team already start to look into it and to start. Uh, Things Stay quiet. Don't say anything. You could, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. No, okay. I, I, you know, it's, it's, a, <laughs> right. it's a two, it's a two-edged sword. I want to give more, but right. it's, it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, it's it's hard because you put something out there. We are very excited about a bunch of things that we didn't even, didn't even talk about, right, with uh, with the community. But uh, sometimes, if it's yeah, it's it's risky. So it's better to 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 bring <laughs> yeah. out, bring in the good news when uh, when we're nearly there, right? I think if you ever need any positivity in your day, you have to hire Dimi. He's going to give you all the positive news. Let's talk about two things that I quickly saw from the chat room. Dimi. Yeah, sure. The first one is about funnels. Paul asked this question. Funnels is on the roadmap for yeah. Brizzy Cloud. Okay, so yeah. give us Actually, one, is, what is the idea of funnels yeah. and two, when implementation is expected? Yeah, if you go to the to the roadmap uh, uh, in Brizzy Cloud, the public roadmap that we have on Trello, you'll see that there are a couple of lanes here and one of the, one of the lanes is in progress. And on, on this lane, we have a bunch of stuff that we are work, working on, like uh, collaboration tool and duplicating those pages and uh, external pop-ups. We'll, we'll have a project that we'll call it external pop-ups. You'll be able to create pop-ups and externally implement them in any website on the web, something really cool. But one of these issues that we're working on, uh, white label analytics, a bunch of stuff, go there and uh, take a look, are funnels, right? Funnels. What are funnels? Basically, a sequence of pages that uh, uh, you'll be able to 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 funnel your your audience uh, that come to your uh, to your uh, initial page and uh, try to to basically to convert them. Right. So it will have uh, the same functionality uh, as uh, in all the uh, funnel builders out there, like click funnels or uh, or lead pages or Insta pages. Only the difference is that uh, we'll have at, at the foundation the the power of Breezy Builder, and uh, you, you'll be able to to like you saw, you'll be able to create everything uh, just like that, very fast. Uh, We'll also have uh, for the funnels uh, that analytic uh, segment 
that will be tightly integrated with it. So you'll be able to get all your data and uh, all the analytics right there in the builder. We'll also have, um, uh, we'll also have, um, we are discussing and we'll start working on a A B te split testing uh, feature that will be, uh, it's something really cool. I'm very excited about where we are, where we want to make this at the block level. So you'll, it will be really cool, this feature, but <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, I, I'm starting to, to get uh, off rails uh, here, but uh, Exciting. yeah. yeah. <laughs> You mentioned white label, and Ivan had yeah. also asked about the white label. Do we expect the white label before the funnels or after or at the same time as the funnels? Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure about this. I really am not sure. Uh, the idea here is to uh, what is basically white label, right? We, we, we want to let you guys control, first of all, the, um, the branding in the builder. So if you use the team member functionality to invite your clients, They'll, uh, when they log in, they'll see your, your logo there. So basically they log in into your builder, not, not the breezy builder. That is one. And uh, the second is to let you, to let you redirect, uh, basically the, the whole builder, the whole domain. Uh, it would be stupid to come to breezy.cloud and see a GP's logo there in the dashboard. Right. right? So you'll, you'll be able to have the, the option to re redirect the, the domain. So basically I'll type in uh, gpbuilder.com and uh, I'll log in and, uh, and I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll basically be in your builder GP. But uh, in the backstage, the breezy will do all the heavy lifting. Uh, I'll have to, I'll have to get back to you on that. I'm, I'm not actually sure when, when this will be. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I, I want right. to give you more, but I, I really don't know because, uh, I know that the, this is not that, uh, that, uh, easy to, to, to do. Right. Uh, there are right. some, uh, some, uh, especially in the, in that, uh, part where we redirect the domains and we, so, um, yeah. Right, so my dog is barking there. Okay, guys, we have uh, 10 more minutes left in this, and we don't want to take up your time for eternity, especially Timmy and I want to, <laughs> to say goodnight to you as well. But before we do that, we're going to show you quickly um, about some of these landing pages that we are working on with Brizzy Cloud. We're going to play the video, and while we play that, we will have a talk through of that. So mm -hmm. I'll start here, and Timmy will join in. Um, we've actually got a number of landing pages ready or for that will be released. So, Dimi, what is the time frame for the release? You mentioned 10 by the end of the year. Yeah, yeah we have the, you know, you know, part of these landing pages we show a couple of uh, weeks ago in another webinar. But uh, why I want to show them um, again, we, we already increased the number of them. Uh, but uh, wh why I want to show them is to 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 tell you about this new new thing we're we're trying. Uh, we want to develop. Um, yeah, these are uh, guys. You you'll go through them. Uh, they are actually live and uh, created in Breezy Cloud. So uh, basically, you can go to and uh, see them. We maybe we'll include the links in the description of the webinar. Uh, they are uh, very uh, carefully crafted, and uh, uh, I think you'll you like them. The fonts, the colors, everything is is pixel perfect. My colleague, uh, our colleague uh, Bogdan, uh, took care of that, and uh, uh, he's one of the the magic guys here. He's uh, he's making the rain. Uh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so um, these are coming already. Are already implemented, and uh, what we are waiting for is contact version two. We are waiting for that first, and right after that, we'll, we'll push this, uh, uh, this update with, with the 10 landing pages. And, uh, we want to, to increase, you know, uh, to increase the, the amount of free things we add to the builder. If, if you maybe think that we don't uh, include a lot of things in free, <laughs> we, we we want to include even more, uh, especially in the in the in the in the layouts uh, department, and we we've been discussing a lot of stuff, and I think uh, we arrived at a at a sort of a rule, right? And we'll try to stick on it. Um, 
30% in free every time and 70% in pro, something like, uh, like this. So, uh, yeah, we'll have uh, from this, this uh, 10, uh, first batch of 10 uh, layouts, uh, I should mention that these are uh, one pagers. So uh, basically you'll, uh, our landing pages. Uh, we'll have three, three of them will be in free. And uh, we've spent a lot of, uh, a couple of, uh, you know, discussions here and we talk, what, how do you decide, right? We looked over them and things like that. And uh, I was discussing with the GP as well. And uh, I think it will be a great idea to, to, to let the community decide, decide what, uh, what will go in free and what will uh, go in pro. Uh, what's so, your... Dimitri, what you are saying, we've got 10. And every time we have 10 things that we will release, three of those will go to the Brizzy Free, yeah. and seven of those will go to Brizzy Pro. Mm -hmm. But for this first release, we are going to let the community decide which ones are free. Are that yeah. what you say? Yeah, uh, yeah. We, we were thinking that it, uh, uh, you know, uh, if uh, it, it was hard to decide, we were looking over them and all are great and we wanted to include something really cool and free and uh, show, the, show the power and the, the possibility of, of what Breezy uh, can do at a professional level, right? Um, and uh, it's hard to decide. And you know what? Who's, who's the better uh, uh, deciding factor rather than the, the, the users and the community and the early, uh, early adopters that, uh, that are uh, behind us and they push us forward and they support us, right? So I'm thinking maybe we can create a poll in the next days, I don't know, a week or so, and uh, we, we stick it on the, com on the Facebook community and we put all the links there and the first three places will be the three layouts that will be included in free and the rest in pro. Of course, if you have pro, you'll have access to all of them. So it will not make right. a huge difference, but uh, your, uh, your input uh, will, will count as always for sure. All right, guys. So again, just a little bit of housekeeping here. I see a few questions again. I'll just state this again. This webinar will be available on YouTube. So if you missed something or you didn't see our pretty faces or you didn't hear any audio, it will be on YouTube. We are also releasing a lot of videos on Brizzy Cloud in the coming days. So December is not going to be a quiet month for us. All of us will be working very hard to release new features for you and bring you the videos so that you can work with your favorite plugins and Brizzy Cloud. And then also that, um, what was the other thing I was just thinking of? And I totally forget it. Right, so before we go, um, this is what Dimitri had just mentioned to you is that for upcoming layouts and block releases, we will be going to a 30 to 70% ratio. And in this one instance, we will grant the community the privilege of choosing which three of the upcoming 10 pages will be those that go into the free version. So if you are smart, you vote the best into the free version. And that will probably be done on the Facebook community. So if you're not yet on the Facebook community, make sure you go join us on the Facebook community. And then also, also make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Usually like tonight, we have a webinar where we go through everything like Brizzy Cloud and we try to help you. The biggest purpose of this webinar is to help you with the questions we have and also to get some feedback from you. We take this feedback and we work it into how we go forward. But then we will release more how-to and tutorial videos on YouTube. And um, do we have anything at the end? So for me, I think we are coming to an end in South Africa. It's getting two minutes to 8.30, which is exactly the same time as Romania up there. Dimitri, how's the weather? Let's talk about the weather. How yeah, you guys are going to winter, right? Yeah, we're going to winter, but it's it's pretty it's pretty crazy because um, here in the south of Romania and Bucharest and capital, it's 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 uh, it's not that cold, right? So we get snow like in you don't get snow, I bet, but uh, we do, we get snow like in February or something like this, and my kids are 
or ecstatic about it. Can't wait to to, <laughs> to go. We have a park here nearby uh, where I where we live, and uh, we go with the with the slate. And uh, yeah, but last year, for example, we didn't have snow, so it was a uh, it was yeah it was a nightmare because uh, yeah. But it's, it's we never have snow. I don't know what yeah. snow is about here where we are. There's no snow. We had in degrees Celsius today 35. So oh my God. that is why my face looks so flushed. I've got a fan down over there blowing me because I don't have aircon in here. Let me let me check my phone. It's uh... See what, oh. Andre, no, 35 isn't good. Yeah, really. seven no. degrees, seven degrees Celsius. Oh. Uh, Oh, my, oh no! Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. So all over the world, we're experiencing all the effects. Guys, thank you so much uh, for joining us tonight. Um, it's the end of 2019, and I think we've come a long, long way. We probably may have another webinar before the year runs out, um, just to keep you guys up to date on what is happening with Brizzy. But I do want to say, I think one of the things that has been driving the, the development forward is your feedback and your input. This has been incredible, the support you've given us, whether it is positive or constructive, it's been absolutely awesome. We thank you for spending your time coming to these webinars and giving us your feedback. And, and this is what makes us excited about this project and, 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 this, pro and this product. Dimitri. Yeah, uh, thanks a bunch, guys, for uh, for hanging in there ninety minutes. It's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's uh, it's a long time. Uh, thanks a bunch for being uh, with us. It, your support is uh, astonishing, and uh, we we uh, I, uh, we always uh, push your feedback and your reviews and all your great uh, good thoughts on uh, on our internal board for everyone to see. And uh, our guys are um, it's like it's like fuel, right? It's like fuel in the in the gas tank. They uh, they uh, they push forward, and we are all committed here to 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 make breezy uh, the best uh, tool to create websites in cloud and in WordPress. So uh, stick with us. Uh, we've come a long way and uh, there is still a long way to go, but uh, um, we'll do it together, right? So uh, yeah, thanks a bunch. We'll see you in the, in the next one.